guys, Kate here. So I really love a high pony because number one, you can do it day or night. This is a look that I love to create often and it's great for when your hair is dirty. So if you're on day two or day three and you just don't wanna have to deal with like making your hair look pretty down, this is a great way to take care of that situation. So I'm gonna show you how to recreate this high pony look. So the secret to the perfect messy high pony is a lot of volume. So if you're not naturally blessed with tons of volume, I have a couple tips and tricks for you. One thing I like to do is start with my hair a little bit dirty. So I washed my hair yesterday and I put in a little bit of dry shampoo. And then when I shake that out, it gives my roots a little bit of a texture so that there's a lift there. And then something else you can do is use a texture spray, which you can get at any drugstore and that will give you extra volume as well. So I'm gonna start with my wand. This is the Eva NYC Clip Free Curler and I'm gonna section off my hair. You don't have to section off perfectly, but I like to start with the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, but this is how I usually start. Don't worry about perfection. And so with the curler, I'm taking one inch sections, about that big, and I'm holding the barrel down and curling this way. Holding for about five seconds. I didn't even use hairspray, I didn't use a ton of product, and look at how these curls are coming out. So beautiful. What I love about this barrel is that it doesn't pull or tug on my hair, it's really soft. It feels soft when I'm curling it, I don't feel like I'm pulling or tugging, and then when I release, there's just a beautiful curl. So now I'm going into my next section. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna section it off around my temples. Something else that's gonna help give you that volume is doing alternate directions for your curls. So a lot of people will take their curls and go the same way. I like to do one one way and one the opposite way. So that way you're getting texture and that gives you extra volume when you put it in the high pony. Seriously, this wand is amazing. This might be my new best friend. It's so easy. Last section here. Doesn't matter how you part it because you're gonna put it up. So now that we're at this stage, I'm gonna take hair from my temples, all of the hair on top of my head, and I'm gonna do a little mini messy pony up here. And to secure my hair, I'm using just a small clear elastic. If you wanna create more texture on the top here and you don't have little pieces sticking out, you can just pull them out lightly. And now we're gonna braid these two sections back. What I'm doing here is a super tight little French braid. So it's just three sections. And again, I'm just securing these braids with a small clear elastic. So if you have any hair left over from the braids, I'm just gonna secure those little pieces of hair with some bobby pins. Now that we're at this stage, I wanna pull out some pieces just for my sides to make it a little bit more of a natural look. So a little bit here. And depending on if you have baby hairs, maybe pull a few around your face. So now that you've pulled out little textured pieces around your face, we're gonna shake out the curls, pull them apart a little bit. So this is just to give it a little bit more of a natural look. And if you have thin hair, actually, what you can do is take a comb and tease it. So taking little sections like this, and combing up. If after you've brushed out the curls, you wanna to touch some up, if you feel like something is out of place, you can just take your wand and recurl little pieces here and there until you get the look that you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments how you love to rock a high pony. And for more tips and tricks on hair, makeup, and nails, check out my channel at The Fashion Finger. Bye.